It's only the beginning of 2024, but already there are some amazing shows to watch. From science fiction to action-packed thrillers, there is something for everyone. In this video, we're counting down the 10 best TV shows of 2024 so far. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. The Gentleman. Coming in at number 10, we have The Gentleman, released in March on Netflix and has quickly become one of the most popular TV shows on the platform. Gentleman is a spin-off of the movie of the same name and is considered one of Guy Ritchie's finest works. The show follows the story of Eddie Halstead, a member of the British upper class who inherits a large estate from his father. However, he soon finds out that the land has become part of Mickey Pearson's weed-growing empire. As Eddie navigates this unexpected twist, he finds himself entangled in a world of crime, secrets, and dangerous alliances. The lead actor, Theo James, gave a terrific performance, and the series has Guy Ritchie's signature style. If you enjoy Ritchie's films, you'll like this one too. Halo Season 2 At number 9, we have the popular sci-fi show, Halo Season 2, which was released on Paramount Plus in February. The series follows Master Chief Petty Officer John 117 and his team of elite Spartans as they battle against the alien threat known as the Covenant. This season takes them to a significant location in the franchise, the planet Reach. The series explores John's deep connection to a mysterious alien structure, the Halo, which could either be the key to human Kane's salvation or its destruction. The show is action-packed and fast-paced, and it is a must-watch for sci-fi fans. Tokyo Vice Season 2 At number 8, we have Tokyo Vice Season 2, released in February on Max. The first season of Tokyo Vice was loved by fans, who eagerly await the second season. The series continues its neon-lit, blood-soaked tale of two men, American journalist Jake Adelstein and Japanese detective Hiroto Katagiri, who risk their lives to bring down the Yakuza. <laughs> This season delves deeper into Tokyo's criminal underworld, expanding the story by introducing new additions to the cast and exploring the personal lives of the main characters. The good news is that the series has been renewed for a third season, and according to Collider.com, season 3 could be filmed later this year. Fallout Everyone wants to save the world, they just... They just agree on how. At number 7, we have another sci-fi TV show, Fallout, inspired by the popular video game. The show was released on Prime Video in April and became a game-changer for the platform. It instantly became a hit and achieved the success that the Rings of Power couldn't for Prime Video. The story is set in a post-apocalyptic world, where humanity seeks refuge in underground vaults to escape radiation, mutants, and hostile factions above ground. The protagonist, Lucy, portrayed by Ella Purnell, emerges from her vault 219 years after the devastating nuclear war that reshaped the world. She ventures into the desolate landscape of Los Angeles and confronts the harsh realities of survival in a world torn apart by catastrophe. Look out at this wasteland. Looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. The show is perfect for fans of the game or sci-fi genres, and it has been renewed for a third season. Masters of the Air. Darkening storms. Or sunshine fair. I think we may be done. We are gonna sit here and take it. We're gonna stick with our mission as long as we can fly. At number six on our list is Masters of the Air, based on the 2007 book of the same name. The series boasts a star-studded cast, 
including Austin Butler and Barry Keoghan, who were Oscar nominees last year. Produced by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, the same duo who brought us the perfect band of brothers, the show follows a group of airmen from the 100th Bomb Group of the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. The group was nicknamed the Bloody Hundredth due to the heavy losses it incurred in combat missions. The series depicts the men of the 100th Bomb Group as they conduct perilous bombing raids over Nazi Germany while grappling with the frigid conditions, lack of oxygen, and sheer terror of combat conducted at 25,000 feet in the air. getting through this, even if the odds are stacked against it. This show boasts Hollywood blockbuster quality. Thanks to Apple's hefty investment, it's a captivating experience that will keep you glued to your screen until the very end. Don't miss out. This one's destined for award season glory. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Coming in at number 5 is Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender, a live adaptation of the popular animated series. The story follows Aang, the Avatar and Last Airbender, as he, along with his friends Katara and Sokka, embarks on a journey to master all four elements, air, water, earth, and fire. Their mission is to end the Fire Nation's imperialist war against the Earth Kingdom and the Water Tribes. The cast of the show did a fantastic job portraying the characters, and fans loved the new take on it. I thought you firebenders had some guts. I don't know where this will all lead. While the animated series is incomparable in its legendary status, the TV series successfully captured some of its elements, and we can finally forget the horrible movie. Netflix renewed the show for a second and third season. Three Body Problems. Number four on our list is Netflix's most popular show this year, Three Body Problem. Third science fiction entry on our list and was released in March. This show created by the makers of Game of Thrones became the talk of the town upon its release. The story takes place across a fictional past, present, and future. Earth encounters an alien civilization from a nearby system of three sun-like stars orbiting one another which is a representative example of the three-body problem in orbital mechanics. How will you be remembered? The plot revolves around Ye Wenjie, an astrophysicist who witnesses her father's death during the Chinese Cultural Revolution. She is conscripted by the military and sent to a secret base where her decision to respond to contact from an alien planet entangles a group of present-day scientists in humanity's greatest threat. Brilliant minds unite to face cosmic repercussions and unravel the laws of nature. The TV show was banned in China upon release due to historical inaccuracy and alleged negative portrayal. True Detective, Night Country. Finish what you started. At number three, the HBO anthology series, True Detective, Night Country, created by Nick Pizzolatto, takes viewers on a thrilling journey to Alaska for a hauntingly mysterious case. Over a decade after the gripping season one featuring detectives Rust Cole and Marty Hart, played by Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, the new season reinvents itself by leaning into the supernatural elements of the earlier season. The story revolves around a new investigation into the disappearance of eight men from a research station in the fictional town of Ennis, Alaska. I know. I feel it too. The season stars Jodie Foster and Kaylee Race as detectives who must confront the darkness themselves and unravel the haunted truths buried under the eternal ice to solve the case. Griselda. At number two on our list is Netflix's gripping series Griselda. This biographical crime drama follows the rise of Griselda Blanco a woman who clawed her way from poverty to become a notorious drug lord. Sofia Vergara delivers a phenomenal performance, seamlessly embodying Griselda's ruthlessness and ambition. 
you'll find yourself forgetting Sophia and seeing only the cunning godmother of cocaine. Griselda Blanco's real-life story is a chilling one. Fleeing Medellin with her young sons and a single kilo of cocaine, she built a multi-billion dollar empire in the U.S. and Colombia. Mafiosa in the Estados Unidos. La Madrina. After all that I have been through, I'm not gonna give it away for nothing. Her reign was marked by violence, cunning, and extravagant wealth. While the series has become a Netflix hit, it's not without controversy. Some critics argue that Griselda's portrayal softens the brutality she truly wielded. Shogun. Taking the top spot is Shogun, a historical drama from FX and Hulu. It has received critical acclaim and boasts a near-perfect Rotten Tomatoes score and IMDb rating of 9.1. This miniseries is a modern retelling of James Clavell's best-selling novel and the 1980 miniseries of the same name. Story is set in Japan and follows John Blackthorne, an English sailor who is shipwrecked and left at the mercy of Lord Toranaga, a powerful and ambitious daimyo. Shogun explores the clash of cultures between Blackthorne and Toranaga's treacherous political landscape. The series features stunning visuals, meticulous costumes, and captivating performances, and it quickly became the most streamed program upon its release in February, amassing millions of viewers across various platforms. If you enjoyed our picks for the best action movies on Netflix, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Want even more movie recommendations? Check out the video description for links to our other content. Don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.